Hello, George Romanich here. Welcome to the Fundamentals of Weather and Climate playlist. In today's video, I'm going to describe homosphere and heterosphere. These are very, very simple concepts and this is going to be a very short video. In my previous videos, I described how 78% of the air that we breathe is nitrogen N2, 21% is oxygen O2, and 1% is other gases. And these other gases were mainly argon and then CO2, water vapor, uh, and so on. But this is really only the case in the first approximately 80 to 100 kilometers. Namely, if this is the surface of the Earth, and here the vertical axis is height in kilometers, then if I put somewhere here 80 kilometers, and somewhere here 100 kilometers, then these percentages, relative percentages, only apply in this part of the atmosphere. And that part of the atmosphere is known as homosphere. What I want to say here, and it is very important to understand, is that as we are increasing height, there is less and less air, less and less molecules of air with increasing the altitude. However, if you take a volume of air at any altitude in the first approximately 80 to 100 kilometers, then the relative percentages are that 78% is nitrogen, 21% oxygen, and 1% trace gases. Above approximately 80 to 100 kilometers, these percentages do not apply anymore. And this part of the atmosphere is known as heterosphere. Because heterosphere is now further away from the surface of the Earth, lighter elements dominate over heavier elements. For example, at these altitudes, nitrogen is rarely, rarely observed. And further we go up, less and less nitrogen we get. So, in this part of our atmosphere, we generally have First hydrogen A2, then hydrogen, then oxygen, then helium, and so on, okay? And what is also very important to understand is that these percentages, whatever they are, are not constant along the altitude in the heterosphere. For example, when we get to the top of the atmosphere, which is between 6,000 and 10,000 kilometers, we mostly have pure hydrogen and helium. No more oxygen or anything like that. That is because these two elements are the lightest elements, and you will also probably know that these are the most abundant elements in our beautiful universe. So when people, including me, tell you that this is the composition of air, that is really true, but only in the first approximately 80 to 100 kilometers. This over here is a gray zone, transitional region. Above this region, we have heterosphere, where these percentages do not apply anymore. I would like to show you a nicer picture of this, if you want to uh, crop it and then have it as your study material. Here it is, what we just discussed. Homosphere in the first 80 to 100 kilometers, after that is heterosphere. Until next video, goodbye.